name is Lauren Nicolas, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can deploy an Azure Kubernetes cluster on Azure Stack HCI and onboard that cluster as an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. All of the automation and guidelines for this demo that you will see in this video is described in this jumpstart scenario. You can find the links to this documentation in the description down below. As you can see, I already have a resource group I named ARC AKS HCI Demo. In this resource group, I have an Azure VM where I will deploy AKS on HCI using nested virtualization. While this is not a deployment that is designed for a production scenario, it will allow us to run all of the infrastructure components for AKS on HCI for testing purposes. AKS on Azure Stack HCI is an on-premises implementation of Azure's managed Kubernetes cluster, AKS, which automates and orchestrates containerized applications at scale. As such, please be aware that Azure Stack HCI should be deployed on validated physical hardware. In this same research group that you can see in the screen is where our Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster will show up once we finish the onboarding process. As I mentioned, I already have an Azure VM with Windows Server 2019 with all of the necessary roles and features and management tools to run HCI on this sandbox environment. Now I am connected to the Azure VM where we will deploy AKS on HCI. As you can see, I also have installed Windows Admin Center that we will use to monitor and view the deployment of our AKS cluster. You could certainly use Windows Admin Center to deploy your AKS cluster, but for demo purposes, I'm going to be using PowerShell. So if we go to Windows Admin Center and take a look at the currently deployed AKS clusters, we see that there are none AKS deployments on this service. Now let's open up PowerShell, where I have the script that will help us deploy AKS on HCI. The first thing that we will need to do with this script is to set up our environment variables that will allow us to customize our deployment. So let's first run this portion of the script. For demo purposes, I'm going to be running each section at a time. Let's clear this and let's continue with the rest of the script. So now we need to check the different directories that are necessary for the deployment of the environment. We need a set of directories that will host the different setups like images and cloud configuration that will be used by AKS on HCI. So let's check if those directories are there. If not, the script will create them. We are now ready to deploy AKS on Azure Stack HCI management cluster on this host. For that, the first thing that we will need to do is now to provide the different VNet or the different network configurations that we want to use for this cluster. In this case, we're going to be using a simple DHCP issued IP address. And for that, we need to provide the VIP pull start and end range that we will use for this cluster. So let's export that configuration with the networking configuration defined. You can now finalize the configuration of your AKS on Azure Stack HCI deployment. And for that, we will run the script that you see here. This command may take a few moments to complete, but once done, you should see confirmation that the configuration has been saved, as you can see here. Now that you have configured your deployment, you are now ready to start the installation process, which will install the AKS cluster on HCI management cluster. This can again take a few minutes to deploy, but once it's done, you will see the confirmation and verify the details by running the next command get AKS HCI cluster. I'm going to speed up the process of the deployment to make this video shorter. Your output for the installation should look like this. And now we can get the credentials or verify that the cluster has been deployed with the following command and even get the credentials so we can later connect to it. This will retrieve the kubeconfig file for this cluster. Now that we have the management cluster deployed successfully, we are now ready to deploy the Kubernetes cluster that will host our workloads. 
And for that, we will need to deploy or run this command that you can see here. This will add the different worker nodes with the different counts that we have set up in, as part of the environment variables. We set up a Linux and a Windows node count, and with that we will get the different worker nodes that will host our containerized applications. Again, this command may take a few minutes to finish, so I'll speed up the video for demo purposes. Once again, now the deployment is completed, we can verify the details of the cluster. And for that, we will run again the get AKS HCI cluster. Notice that this time the commands list both the management cluster and also the new workload cluster and the worker nodes that are part of the AKS deployment. Now that we have AKS up and running on Azure Stack HCI, we should be able to onboard this cluster as an Azure Arc enabled resource. And for that, we will use this command line that you see here. Now we are onboarding this cluster and more should pop up in the resource group that I showed you earlier. If we go back to Windows Admin Center, we should now be able to see an Azure Kubernetes service running on this Azure Stack deployment. And as you can see, we have listed the cluster that we have just deployed. If we go back to the Azure portal and refresh the resource group, we can now see a new Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster resource that is mapped to this description, region, and resource group. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like. Thank you.